Hi, Soul Family. How are you? <clears throat> I'm super happy. I can't even freaking see you. <laughs> my, uh, my regular glasses are the lenses. Um, I'll never get, although I say that, right? I'll never get, what is it, non-glare? When you get non-glare glass uh, lenses, you don't get this, right? You don't get the reflection. Um, so now I get it. It's for the camera. That's why I bought it. But it's so, it's so delicate and so tender that um, they, it gets scratched to hell. And I've, I've gone through three pairs of, you know, $800 glasses. And uh, I don't know. I'm giving my eyes a, a break from my contacts because I've noticed that my eyes are getting better without anything. Like if I take these off, I can't read little tiny writing and I look blurry, but my, my, my distance is coming back. My hawk vision is coming back. I used to have eyes like a hawk and, and all of a sudden, boom, right? So uh, I like these lenses, not lenses, the frames. Okay, I'm excited because I found a cabinet on, um, I don't know, what marketplace, Facebook marketplace to go inside of my trailer that's in a bazillion pieces. Because you guys know it, I don't want it to be a regular trailer. I want it to be like a little tiny home, kind of that feel anyway, right? And so I was eyeballing it, and I, I didn't know what the measurements were, but I thought, I think that could fit right in this one spot. So anyway, the guy comes down, and um, I said, you, he says, I'm coming down to do some work on some other, I mean, he told me all these things he's doing. And I said, you wouldn't happen to know how to, you know, repair a couple stucco patches, would you? And he said, absolutely. And I said, my landlord needs that done. And um, his, his workman's charging him exorbitant prices, ridiculous prices. And so he gets down here. He's really super cool. My cabinet is freaking adorable. It's an antique um, secretary, an antique secretary with a desk that pops down. It's, oh my God, it's, it's tiger oak and uh, for the tiger. And uh, it fits perfectly in my trailer. And I started talking to him about it. And I've been saying to the spirit, just get me somebody to get this freaking thing finished. I'll work with them, but... Anyway, so he's going to do it with me. <laughs> I mean, now I need the funds to come in to pay for it, right? But he's very inexpensive because, and I don't know if he just is regularly, but he likes doing it. He says, I like it. It's fun for me. I enjoy this, right? And I come down and I do work for a woman in Sun City. He said, so, you know, I could do this with you. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. So I just, uh, all the things that I didn't understand, he understands, right? And he goes, well, how do you want this? How do you want I said, I don't even care. Whatever you think has to be there, I, it doesn't have to be the way I, I, you know, necessarily have to have it. It's I just want it put back together, and I would like to put little pieces of furniture in here, you know. And if you say to me, "Oh, well, this would work better over there," that's cool. It doesn't have to be my way, right? It just, let's just get it done. So I'm super excited. So I thought I would celebrate by having doing a reading with you guys. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful day in Canyon Lake. Ooh, cormorant flying high right by. So that was our totem messenger. Cormorant says, you will dive down deep under your emotional waters and you will emerge safe and sound. It also says, don't be working for other people and having them keep your proceeds, right? Don't be working for free. But the other message I got from that is don't be doing their work for them, right? Don't be an enabler. Sometimes we, you know, we make ourselves a martyr and uh, we're trying to save everybody and we can't even freaking save ourselves. But the point is, that's not supposed to happen anyway. You're, you're ripping them off of the lesson that they need to learn, right? If you do, if you, if you take care of them and you do what they need to get done, they'll never learn. So they have to learn on their own. Um, so don't be doing their work for them, right? You, you do your work. It's kind of like a clean your side of the garden up, right? Don't worry about what's going on outside in, in the neighbor's garden. Um, so the items that we can choose from today, well, the first one is forget me not. Forget me not. This is real forget me nots inside of this ring. I ordered it from Germany. It's kind of scratched because I, I wore it hiking, which is kind of dumb. I hike like this. You guys know that, but so there's one. Forget me not. Hmm. Interesting. You know what we're going to do? So I've got two forget me nots. Two forget me nots. So I've got this forget me not, and then I've got the seeds to grow a garden. So it's kind of like you take a little piece of me with you when you go, right? Don't forget me. You've forgotten me not. Everywhere you've gone, it brings you back home. This is the garden. This is the home, right? You've cultivated your garden. You never forgot me. Nope, never did. So I'm going to put these together as a set. 
as a pair, okay? They're going to be earth element. And we're gonna use the child's block because we need to have a childlike attitude. I do this because I can see like the little things with the freaking, what are these called? Um, bifocals. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm ancient of days. Cracks me up. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got my Buddha sitting in front of me as well. I guess he, maybe he's supposed to be in on this. So correct for neutrality on all levels. What is the, what is the message that we're supposed to get from the child's block? This should be earth because it's wood. I guess maybe what it, what it lands on, maybe that will tell us what it's gonna be. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and let it drop. It lands on the fox, yay! Fox, this can be fire element. <laughs> Foxy whisker gentleman, or you're a fox, right? Fire element. So the fox talks about camouflage, the art of camouflage. It talks about playfulness. Ooh, and look how it landed. Jay, this is the most amazing block. I gotta tell you why in a minute. But, um. Everybody, everything all together in one. It's just amazing. Um, so the fox, adaptability, playfulness. Um, they're very intelligent, strategic. They're asking you to be adaptable, flexible. The call of the wild. <laughs> the call of the wild. In this block is a J, an S, a wolf, a fox, you, Two. <laughs> this this is amazing. I love this. I can't believe it when I found it. Spirit obviously led me to it. All right, we'll put you in on this too. Peaceful Buddha. This is going to be water element. No, it's not. Air element. Okay, air element. It's got pyrite sitting in his lap. Pyrite is for protection. Pyrite is fool's gold. All that glitters is not necessarily gold is the message, right? It's not all that it's cracked up to be. It's got love wrapped around. This is an intelligent one. This is a, a very learned one. This is my mother's bookmark. And you're wearing it like a scarf with pink for love. So this one will be air, fire, earth. Okay, so who's water? Who's water? I swapped my plants. This one's water. Isn't that amazing? The rainbow. And I don't know what this plant is. We haven't figured it out yet, but it grows beautifully. So this is water element. I'm so sick of running as fast as I can. I wonder if I would get there quicker if I was a man. I guarantee you, you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, here we go. So what are the decks that we're gonna work with? We're not gonna do it really fast. I mean, we're not gonna do it really fast. We never do really fast, right? Gosh. So let's do, we're gonna use my deck and we're going to use, oh, I love this deck. Winged Enchantment and the Healing Angels. Healing Angels? I said Healing Angels. Do I have Healing Angel cards? Healing Angel. Healing Angels? I don't know that I have a deck that's Healing Angels, do I? Healing Angels. Healing Angels. I don't think I have a deck that says Healing Angels. Oh wait, is this Healing Angels? No way. This is Healing with the Fairies. I just did this one though. I just did this one. <laughs> I just did this one. Okay, I got Do It Again. And I got messages from your angels or healing with your angels or healing, heal yourself reading cards. So, okay, we're gonna do one, two, three, two. Okay, but which one's two? One, two. Wow, is that the one? No. <laughs> okay, this is ridiculous, it really is. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna, I can't close my eyes because I know where I put them. Come on, I just have to figure this out quickly. All right. It is the one that I picked originally. I just said the word wrong. Okay, so that's a message, right? It is the one you chose right. It is the one you chose originally. You just said it wrong. 
Hmm, okay. Because it's this one. I love this deck. Heal yourself reading cards. I love this deck. I love the whole presentation. The, the box is beautiful. And the pictures are, are absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Winged Enchantment. Okay. Correct for neutrality. For all of those who chose the fox. The child's block. I can't remember who we said. Oh, it's fire, right? Seagull. Freedom. Freedom. Okay. It looks like you're at the beach. You know how they, when you throw any food on, they're all over you, right? So there's the, that's the card. We're not going to touch it yet because we got to get this card. And when I have this um, stand up on my desk this way, it takes up most of my desk. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Okay, so while I'm shuffling, the, the, the cabinet that I got for my little trailer, oh my God, it's so freaking cute. I can't ever sell that trailer with that cabinet in it. Um, it's got a little secretary that drops down and it's got like, so I can actually sit at my desk and do readings <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm traveling. Oh, he is a sweetheart. This guy's doing so much for me and he just sent me a message. Sherry, you gave me $40. It was only 30. I'll bring the rest next week. I'm like, are you kidding? It's beautiful, my cabinet. But it's got all these areas to put all my decks. And I said to him, I don't want to scare you, you know, about what I do. Um, and he goes, I already know what you do. I went to your page to check it out. He says, because um, a lot of people are flake, flaky and I don't want to drive all the way somewhere and have somebody not be there, right? And, uh, oh my gosh, I got a message. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> um, and so... He says he went to my page and he says, you're a reader. And, and I said, yeah. And I said, well, I just didn't want you to be worried and think I'm a witch. And I said, because I work with angels. And he goes, well, there's white witches and dark witches. And I said, yeah. I said, but you know, a lot of people don't understand that. And so when you say the word witch, it freaks them out, right? Because a witch, if you look it up, it's actually someone who works with the elements, works with the moon cycles, who works with the earth, natural herbal medicine, basically what I do, right? But I don't like to say the word witch because... It gets such a bad connotation. But anyway, he's a sweetheart. He, um, I gave him the 40 because it's worth 40, right? I'll tell him to keep it. <laughs> he's gonna help me with my trailer. Oh, this one, okay. Healing. There's either a healing that takes, that's taking place or a healing that's needing to take place. They're also talking to you about the kind of work you do. I'm a, I'm a healer, right? I've been doing so much. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw. If you're on my um, Facebook page, I have a dog that I go see every time I go to Idlewild. His name is Max. He's the mayor of Idlewild. Let's see if I can show you. See my calendar right there? That's my mayor Max calendar. And Max is the mayor. He literally is the mayor of Idlewild. And he has two deputies, Mitzi, and I can't remember the other one's name, but Max got really sick and he was rushed to the hospital. And uh, so I started doing Reiki on him and uh, I said to the woman, his, he's got a problem with his throat chakra. Um, he's having a problem speaking up. And I said, uh, he, there's something to do with his throat. And I was sending him Reiki and told her what I did. And she said, oh my God, she goes, he had a, a fight. Um, she goes the other day, cause he goes and greets everybody in, in, to welcome everybody to the town, right? And a big bull mastiff got up in its face. And he said, Ma she said, Max was really, really calm. He just kind of held his ground, but the dog, the bull mastiff was like right nose to nose to him. And then he started getting really aggressive and started growling. And so the man's owner pulled away, but it triggered something. So it makes us think about, you know, I'm talking about being a healer, but he, it triggered a, a memory and that memory triggered something that had happened before and she said in the desert he was attacked and he almost died and he grabbed him by the throat and i said that's what's inside of him and and, and before i told her all, all, i mean i was writing things before i heard back from her i should read it to you guys it was really cool i uh i said when you pet him or brush him constantly say release 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 because he is around a lot of people and i said Everyone's touching him, you know, and he's obviously empathic. He's taking on that energy. I said, they take every toxic energy away from us. They take it on and they'll get themselves sick. And I said, he's also carrying a trauma related to what happened in the past, but you have him greeting people all day long. He's constantly working with people and he needs a break, right? It's too much. He needs, he, you know, I should show you him. He's just precious. I had a dog named Max. 
Can you see them? So this is what I wrote. Mayor Max has a blocked throat chakra. That just came out as I was typing I, the words. I, Spirit showed me. I said, um, I'm sending Re Max Reiki to help balance his throat chakra, help him cough up whatever he needs to, which is the past, release it, right? Asking that he be given an extra measure of peace and comfort to help him while he, his body heals. To the family and to all who have any pets at home, when you're petting or brushing them, please say, release, release, release. One of the major healing things our pets do is to take on any toxic or negative energy from us or around us. They take it upon themselves. Because of this, they must be cleared regularly or it will build up and cause sickness. It's the same as us if we're in a toxic environment. If you're around somebody who's sick, you, you will literally take that on. You need regular breaks, you need to clear yourself. It, it, it's very important. And I said, um, Max and the deputies interact with a lot of people and with every interaction, I'm getting so many loud messages right now, with every interaction, they absorb the energy of the people they come in contact with. Listen, think about uh, uh, a police officer or somebody in the correction, you know, like a, a jail or something that works in the jail. Can you imagine that toxic energy that they take in every day? Oh my God. Or arresting people? Oh my word. Hospitals, doctors, nurses, right? Same thing. So every interaction, they absorb the energy of the people that they come in contact with. I'm a licensed Reiki master and I've worked very successfully with very ill animals for many years. As I've said, I've already sent healing Reiki to Max, but if you could do as I asked, that would really assist me with helping him release whatever it is that is blocking him. I already know he had a buildup from all of the toxic energy he's absorbed in protecting you and in greeting so many. He's precious and I'm so happy to help him. If any of my fellow Reiki masters would join in, I would very much appreciate it. Max goes out almost daily to welcome all to my special town of Idlewild. He's such a happy, pleasant boy, so wanting to please everyone. I personally think that is the problem. Trying too hard to please too many people. I think he needs some of time off of his duties to just relax. And when he's stronger, he will cough it up, whatever it is that's blocking him. Yes, there's many messages we're getting in this. So she wrote to me, um, in another, she wrote to me privately, I think. She texted me. And I, I think she sent it on, um, somewhere on, on Facebook as well, but she, where is it? Here it is. This was pretty amazing. <sighs> There's something about this why I'm showing you. I showed her a picture of my Max, who's been gone a long time now. And uh, hold on. There's something I'm trying to show you. So I was connecting. What, what was happening was I was telling her how um, she looked at the picture and she says, these photos are beautiful. I think you should get another golden puppy and spiritually will your beautiful dog back to you. My hunch is that dogs stay with us. I believe I've had Mayor Max three times in a row. Whether I'm right or not, I know another golden will make you very happy. Somebody asked me this the other day. They said, do you think I've lost someone very important to me? You think they might come back into my life? If it's an animal, yes. Yes, they would have to be born though into that, into that animal. Just like Lily. My mom was dead 10 years and Lily you know, was born five years later and that was my mother who came through her. Um, she said, you're, you're totally beautiful and the happiness in your soul that shows through in these photos means it's time for you to get another golden. Of course, you may have already have one, but I'm just suggesting if you don't. Thank you, we thank you all for the help. I said, I don't have one. I'm the mother of three rescue cats and I seem to be their chosen mom. The, tw the two rescued last year were extremely abused and I've worked wonders with them. I do Reiki on them every day and every night. I watched the Sedona Humane Society page. Oh, it's gonna start happening again. I don't know what's going on. I'm doing this live because it might be connecting to someone who's going through this. I do, I watch the Sedona Humane Society page since I used to live there. It's the most wonderful facility I've ever encountered. They have play yards for the dogs better than most homes. They're regularly taken out on trail runs by the locals and receive Reiki healing by the locals that work there and come in to donate their time to help with the traumatized or frightened dogs and cats. I had my eye on one white golden. I knew she'd be adopted right away, but she lasted there a few days. She was adopted today and I cried. I'm still crying. I'm happy she found a home, but it was like watching the person you love being given to someone else. And I sent a picture of her. I said, that was her. Her name was Lana. Lana Turner, I'm sure, because of her beautiful platinum hair. She was a white golden. My friend Kirk took her on trail walks and he said she was very thin and very shy and wanted her, I wanted her so much, but I don't have a place that will allow me a dog right now. And she said, sorry to hear that about Lana. Another beautiful one will come into your life. 
just seeing your note about not being able to have a dog where you are, I always say to people, then it's time to move. I said, I'm in, I can't even see, my eyes are full of tears. I'm in the process of that. I tried to get a place up in Idaho, actually, but it fell through. Here is Lana in the trails with my friend Kirk. And she says, what wonderful spirit in this dog, you can see it. And I said, but she will have her own little boy to take care of and she will be so loving and gentle with him. I hope the family's good to her. She said, I'm sure they'll be good to her, but is there a way that you can contact the family and stay in touch to see if it's not working? I know that this has to do with a child that somebody has taken in as foster care. I said, I don't know, I never thought of that, I could ask. I don't know what it is, but I'm extremely affected by her going to them. I can't stop crying. So I feel I'm channeling somebody. She said, have you contacted and gave me a place in Idlewild who um, has places that he rents and he rents to people with animals. Um, time's supposed to heal you, but I haven't done much of healing. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. I'm in California dreaming of the way it used to be. So I'm, I know I'm channeling. Um, because I, I couldn't stop crying. I cried and cried and cried and cried. And so I'm going through a healing because I did lose the love of my life. And it's a healing that I needed to release, right? It's also talking about the fact that you might be a healer. And it's talking about using your gifts to heal. There is a graduation of something. 21. There's a freedom because of what Jonathan said. Jonathan, whenever I look at, I call him Jonathan, Jonathan Livingston Seagull. John, uh, Seagull represents freedom. And uh, this one is breaking free from something, right? Um, so I'll let you look at this while I try to compose myself. Mm, except for I've got a swallow instead of seagull. So there's a connection to the swallow and the seagull, I suppose. I am seagull, master of the sea. I am legend on the waters. I am ghost bird. I'm the one who haunts those adrift in a storm. I have the ways to maintain my bold position and defend scavenger lifestyle. I take what I want as my survival depends on it. If you want my advice, learn to take what is given while it's there. There's always a treasure where nobody looks. There are always paths that no one has trod upon. Seek them out and make them your own. I am resource and plenty. Expand your horizon. I am the guardian of the open shores. Look further out to sea. The ships may be heading in your direction. The competition is wild, but your instincts are keen. You're navigating this chaos. You're exploring deeper waters. You are boundless supply. You are seagull. My trunks have ships on them, right? Ships are coming. They're coming to you. There's a healing that needs to pay. This person is saying, it's no secret that both of us are running out of time. Somebody wants to connect with another. There's a healing that's taking place, that needs to take place. There's a connection that needs to happen. I cried, I can't tell you how much I cried. I cried and cried and cried and every time I looked at her picture, I cried again. I've never felt so connected to an animal that I had never seen before. Message, yes, they have kids. Yes, they have kids. More than one. Correct for neutrality. Are they fur kids? <laughs> I have three kids myself. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I dig your funky style. I love how, how you love spiritual learning. I wanted to call and tell you I'm sorry about everything that I have done, but when I call, you're not home. So if somebody's reaching out, but they're reaching out and they're not connecting, they're, they're, they're connecting from somewhere else. I have to tell you that when, I, when something feels unusual to me, I, I know when something's not right. And I, uh, people continue to speak to me as people that I know they're not. I, I'm blocking them because I don't know who you are. So somebody's trying to reach out from somewhere else, but they need to reach out as themselves if they're trying to reach me. Because I, I have too many that are causing too many problems. I can't believe you don't see your high value. That's a healing that needs to take place. Somebody doesn't recognize how valuable they are. I love this song. 
that's playing right now. I hope you guys can't hear it too loud because that means that YouTube will hear it and they won't let the video go out. <laughs> so it's talking about, I'm not trying to be your part-time lover. Have you heard this song? I'm all yours. What's a man got to do? What's a man got to do? To be totally locked up by you. <laughs> What's a man got to say? What's a man got to pray? How cute. So somebody wants to see somebody, right? So the rest of this message is maybe there's stress that you're feeling. I was obviously feeling somebody's energy, right? A lot of times, like I said, the, the dogs pick up other people's energy, but we also pick up the energy of the ones we're connected to. And I was crying and crying and crying because somebody was losing, watching someone they loved go somewhere else, or maybe that's what they thought, right? So this is about overwhelm, stress. Maybe your body is just exhausted. My body's just needing to release. There, I've been through a lot these last seven years and that was just a way my body was able to release because I connect mostly with the animals, right? And so also while I was doing that, it's hard on me because when they come through me, I feel that. So I was, I was connecting with that dog and that's why I said they better be good to her because whatever she had experienced, which was very traumatic, she was very, very thin. They rescued a bunch of dogs from New Mexico that were in um, high kill shelter and they were gonna be put down and they were all rounded up from the Navajo reservation and they run rampant and 98, 98% um, of the animals are put down every month, every, for every Friday, every Friday. It's like somebody needs to go and spay and neuter all those animals. If I had the money, I would but she was one of the dogs that was brought from the Navajo reservation. Maybe that's why I felt so connected to it. My twin grew up on the Navajo reservation in Page, Arizona. So it's talking about, you need to be very conscious of areas of your life that you're suppressing things, that you're not allowing to, to, to express, right? Like Sammy, every time I pet him, I say release, 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 because he's got all of this fluid, which is emotion, that he has not coughed up, right? Cough it up, whatever it is that you need to cough up. And spirit saying, it, it's, it's a process, it takes time. It's like, you know, what'd you say? We're all a work in process, progress, right? It's a process and you can't expect perfection. It's a little at a time, one step at a time. But your first steps are taking yourself to or creating for yourself a safe environment, a loving, supportive environment where somebody feels that way about you, right? And where you can, when you're in a place of peace like that, and this is saying your ships may be coming in, right? Go further out, go explore, leave where you are, go to where you feel that. Because when you're in a place like that, where you feel that, that um, sense of calm, I mean, obviously that, that, that animal had to be taken away from there. It was awful, right? And I was feeling the release as I was working on, 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 on the animal. I, was, I, I worked on Manny, I worked on another one named Pat, and they were also brought from the, from the reservation. And uh, gosh. So you may be a healer or you need healing and you need to get to a place of solace, a place of like my little trailer. I mean, you should see it's gonna be so beautiful. Um, it's been nine and a half months it's been sitting there. I could have had a baby in that time. And uh, it's time it's gonna get done. He says, well, maybe you need to be a little bit patient, he said to me. He says, as a reader, he goes, I'm sure you say that to people all the time, right? And I said, I've been patient. It's been nine and a half months. And he goes, oh wow, we need to get this done. I'm like, yeah. When spirit tells me to be patient, I've been patient. Okay, so all of that came out for, I don't know, many people. That was for the fox, which is me. And uh, I'm being asked to be flexible and adaptable, and I am. So now we go to the peaceful Buddha. And I, I think I said that this was air element, right? Because of the intellect? I, I, I think so. This was earth. That was fire. And this is water, yes. So, the peaceful Buddha. Here we go. For those who chose the peaceful Buddha, what is your message? So how are you guys doing? I hope it's a beautiful day for you. It is very, very nice. I was very excited. And uh, I've been sleeping a little bit more. Uh, Willow woke me up probably six times last night though. So um, I might have to take a little bit of a trip without my trailer being finished just to get uh, a bit of a break, I don't know. I thought maybe I'd go up to Idlewild, you know, and, and she wants me to come up and see Matt. Maybe I'll go and, and do hands-on, because hands-on is much 
I mean, it's it's very powerful, long distance Reiki. It's just it's energy, right? But um, I I I have a connection to that dog. I've I've connected to that dog a lot, so I'd like to put my hands on him. <laughs> There's a message in that. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I'd like to put my hands on him. Okay, love, <laughs> love. So there she sits, thinking about. You know, she's got him in a frame, right? And she's thinking about him. And what's interesting is if you can see with no glare, the picture, how he's turned and he's looking at her. So the connection is, is mutual. She's thinking of him and he's thinking of her, but they're not together, but they're connected energetically, right? I'm not up there with Max. I wasn't there with, with uh, Lana. I, I had a different name I, I think I chose for her, but, but I was connecting with her, right? Energetically, you always connect with the ones that you love. So the message is that you, you desire this. You want this connection. You want love. You, you don't want to have somebody in a picture frame. There's a song about that. I have to think of what it is. It's one of my favorite country songs. But you want to be loved. You want to be nurtured. You're, you're, it's not that you want this. Your body and your heart and your soul desire this. And... Right now, Spirit says you're at the place in your life where you're able to do this. You're able to give that and receive that. Because a lot of times that's the problem, is that you're not able to receive it and you shut your heart down. So Spirit's saying right now, you need to fully open your heart chakra in order to allow this to come in. And yes, you're going to feel vulnerable. You're going to be nervous possibly. I am. I've been hurt a lot, you know? So maybe you're sensitive. Maybe you're afraid that you're gonna be rejected. Maybe you're worried about being intimate with somebody. It's been a long time or maybe something like that little one that was so hurt on the Indian reservation. What if you were sexually abused, right? There's a problem. I have, we kept getting, I've suffered sexual abuse. Intimacy is a difficult thing for me, right? So that might be something that's, that's pushed you away or closed you down. But spirit wants you to unleash this. They're, they're telling you it's safe now. You're okay. You're to the point. Remember, you're, you're a work in progress. And it takes a while. It's not going to be immediate. But Spirit wants you to allow the love that you're feeling to be expressed and allow yourself to be loved. Allow yourself to start seeing. That, that song said, I, I'm, I'm in California dreaming of the way it used to be. Hello, I'm calling from the other side. You know, I want to talk about the way, I'm sorry for the way things went, right? That's, somebody is wanting so desperately to connect and to fix things. And this is what this is talking about. It's time to connect again. If you've been holding on to the pain from whatever's happened, like that song, it's time to let it go, right? It's time to open up your heart. And then ask, I'm a mad manifester, I am. So you ask, I want love in my life. I want love in my life. I need love in my life. It, I'm asking for love in my life. And ask for it from the depths of your soul and then allow it to come. Nobody's perfect, everybody has idiosyncrasies and, and different ways of looking at things and, and uh, there's a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding with people because of what they've experienced with others or the way they see things, right? We all are, are different we, and a lot of times we put on a persona um, as protection. Like look at her outfit, I love this outfit. Isn't that gorgeous? I would love to wear a wedding dress like that. I love that kind of look but and you look at her, can you see her climbing trees and scrambling over rocks? She doesn't look like that kite, does she? But she is, because I do. Right? You can dress up and you can go out and, and you can work and, and you can do it all. But what if you only show yourself in a certain way? People don't know the truth of who you are and what you, what you might be willing to do or what you want to do, what you really want to do. This is about focusing on feeling good about yourself. This is about looking at other people and, and trying to see the best in everybody. Everybody's got something good, right? Right now, when you, the Spirit's saying that there is a love coming to you. And when you feel that love, it's a love that's coming from, from a past life. A friendship that's lasted a very long time. You've known each other forever. It's love coming forward. You're connecting in that way. I wanna see what the winged 
messengers have to say. Love is coming to you. You're feeling it. Allow it to come. Waxwing. Waxwing. I got chills just now. I don't know why. I don't remember what this message is, but I got chills all over this. So, Waxwing. Waxwing. Can you see it without the glare? I am Waxwing, the balancing of give and take. Well, there you go. That's why I got chills. I am what you reveal and what you hide behind. I am intoxicated with the sweetness of life. I am the ritual of ceremonial giving. I am courtesy and the generosity of sharing the good life. I am the importance of knowing what roles you play. Be aware of what you are presenting. <laughs> right? Be aware of what you're presenting. Be mindful of the masks that you live by. I am the wisdom to shape and shatter facades. I am the abundance of heart to present my joy to others. There is a great strength in letting the world know who you are. Remember I said... Don't try to contact me unless it's you. You are reciprocity. You are joyful indulgence. You are unmasked. You are waxwing. There's no reason to hide who you are. Right? Correct for neutrality on all... Whoa, that was quick. Don't be his or her friend. They're using you. Wow. Now's the time to focus on you. You would know this, okay? This isn't going to be something that you have to go looking for. It's already going to be something that you're not comfortable with, Okay? Don't be his or her friend. They're using you. You already know this. This is just confirmation, okay? People need to understand that. I like it a little rough sometimes. Okay, that's funny because look, you wouldn't think that when you look at them, right? They're all dressed up and fancy. I like it a little rough. It can be anything. It can be sexually. It can be just life, right? I like to be rough and tumble. I'm down there on top of that trailer, sand on the roof. I'm, I'm underneath, you know, I'm banging. I do all kinds of stuff. I'm not all prissy, right? like it a little rough. What does it mean for you? doesn't have to be all, all sweetness and gentle all the time. Correct for neutrality. I wish you were here, but you're not. The drinks bring back the memories and the memories bring back you. And the best thing to do is, I know that I'm going to reach out to you, but I can't right now. I will someday. Somebody needs to stop drinking. And because they're trying to fill a void, instead they need to contact the person that they are missing. They're on to you. <laughs> They're on to you. I'm ready here. I'm ready to ringle. I'm, re I'm ready to mingle. Let's party. I'm ready to mingle. Let's party. The truth has been exposed. They know. Yay. Yay. I can't reach out to call you, but I know I will someday. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody someday. Come on. One. Just one. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's nice, because if somebody were to come to you, I am lying to myself. I want us. A lot of times that happens, right? That's a way somebody can stop themselves from feeling rejected or feeling the fear of rejection, right? Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm fine. I don't want this. I'm good, right? I don't want it. But that's not the truth. The truth of the matter is you're upset or you feel like you're not gonna, it's not going to happen. And so you tell yourself that so you're not disappointed, right? That's a lie. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the forget-me-nots, and I absolutely have. Earth element. Earth element. Forget-me-not. I heard the song right before we began, and the song was, um, I never let, you never let me down. I ne never, never forgot me, you, you never let me down, right? I never forgot you, you never let me down. So forget-me-not, never, right? Woo! Everybody's trying to get in on the act, and that's the problem. <laughs> Everybody's trying to get in on the act. Sadness. Wow. Five. Five. There's significant changes taking place at this time. Why? Because it needs to. There's sadness. A toast to the ones here today. A toast to the ones we lost on the way. They lost somebody dear to them. Right? Remember what I said about that dog? I lost that dog. What if that was a friend? What if that was a parent? There's deep sadness that's happening here. And so you need to not isolate. You need to be allowing yourself to be comforted. Look at the picture. Look how beautiful it is, though. Memories, sadness. It, it is Mercury retrograde. And with Mercury retrograde, memories come back. I've been thinking about my son. I haven't seen him in six years. I haven't talked to him in six years. And this is, this is telling you that if you have lost someone, you're allowed to feel this cry and feel the sorrow. I cried and cried and cried when that dog went. 
right? A lost opportunity, a broken friendship, um, a relationship that's ended. Spirit says it needs to release. It's what I've been doing. That's why I was crying so much. I was trying to release whatever it was, right? But a lot of times people think it's weakness to cry, which is ridiculous. Spirit says, you know, we have emotions for a reason. And when we cry, sad tears and emotional tears, like sad tears especially, grief tears and sad tears, release so many toxins from your body. It's different than laughing tears, sad grief tears. That's why they said, you know, go have a good cry. And, and you're exhausted, but then you sleep better. It's because it's released toxins. And it also releases positive energy throughout your body. So Spirit's saying, we want you to admit to yourself that you're sad, that, that, that you need a little love in your life. Admit it. Let, let people be there for you, right? Allow yourself to feel your emotions. It's not weak. I understand, too, that, you know, I can't do this right now. I can't be out amongst a bunch of people right now. It's too much for me right now, right? Understand that you have boundaries and you have limitations and there's things that you can deal with and things that you can't, and you need to, you need to allow yourself that. What did I say about Max? I said... I already know he has a buildup from all of the toxic energy he's absorbed in protecting you and in greeting so many. He's precious and I'm so happy to help. He's a happy, pleasant boy, so wanting to please everyone. I personally think that is the problem, trying too hard to please too many people. Remember what I said? Everybody wants to get in on this. You can't please everyone, right? You can't. You need to please yourself. You can't please everyone and you're putting too much pressure on yourself to expect yourself to please. There needs to be boundaries set. I think he needs some time off of his duties to just relax. And when he's stronger, he will cough it up, whatever it is that's bothering him. So you need some time off to relax. And when you're able to relax, you're able to. It's like everything's tight, right? But then when it loosens, when, when you, you know somebody who's got... Um, and when they first have a head cold or a chest cold, right? They can't, it's hard to cough, it's hard to breathe. But when things start to loosen up, the phlegm is able to be coughed up. It's easier, you know? And, and when you see babies, like with my Sammy, when he tries to cough and he doesn't know how, and I'm, I'm patting him on, I just want to cough it up for him, right? Just, you know what it is. Like, they already fi they've already figured it out. It's, it, the truth is out. They already know. <laughs> it's already known, right? So I, I want to cough it up for you, is the message. You don't have to get lost in your emotions. Wow, I'm getting a cute, wait till you see this. You just need to allow yourself to, to feel them and express them and allow them to move through your body. It's cleansing, it's purifying. You must do this, you must do this. Now, the bird that keeps coming to me is the starling. It came to my landlord, I said, this is your totem. And then it came today, where was I? I went to get um, money for the, for the cabinet and I was at the bank machine and it was, they're always looking, they're scavengers, they're always looking for something to eat, right? And uh, I felt this flutter and I, I couldn't see anything and there was a starling down underneath the wheel well. And the animal is starling, is what has come out. So I'm gonna share with you, I think I shared it recently, somebody asked me and I said, the starling is your messenger. If it wasn't for you, I'd be lost in a, crowd, a crowded room with fake friends if we hadn't met. If we hadn't met, I'd be drunk waking up in someone else's bed. There's a lot of, you know, thinking about who matters. Started thinking about what if we'd never met. The Starling Totem teaches you how to behave within a group setting, how to be effective and assertive without becoming a bully. Communication is important to Starling people. However, you must be careful of what you say for people might take it incorrectly or blow it out of proportion, especially right now, especially right now during Mercury Retrograde. Okay, Mercury retrograde is classic miscommunication, um, computer breakdowns. It, it's the planet of communication. It rules um, communication, computers, um, travel, right? There's delays in travel. It's just, ugh, right? So be very, very careful about what you say and how you say it. But also be very careful about assuming that you think you know what something means. Remember that person was crying and crying. They thought someone was going somewhere else. Maybe they weren't. Right? Maybe they weren't talking to them. Maybe they were talking to somebody else. So watch your sensitivity to other people's words. You might be reading more into it than is actually really there. So by learning Starling's behaviors, you can live peacefully within your community of friends and family. Starling teaches lessons of group etiquette, social standing, 
and family relations and how you appear to the world in those relationships. He will show the nuances of the art of communication and vocalization, what needs to be clear and expressive. It's time to speak your voice. <laughs> Everything today has been saying that, all the songs too, right? Cough it up. Starling can show you how to be, how to be a fierce competitor, because what was the message? Love's coming your way. The competition is fierce, but you're a fierce competitor. Ooh, didn't I say something about somebody else? I said to them, you're fierce. You're fierce. Um, oh, my friend Sandy, she's in Aries, and she said, um, I say it the way it is, and, I, and, I, and, and it's all over my face, and that's just the way it is. And she acted like a badass, right? Tough little badass. She's like 5'1", or 5 feet. And she's a redhead, and she's fiery, right? But she's actually extremely sensitive. So Aries generally get classed, you know, as a hard ass. And we have a temper, you know, it'll, it'll blow. We, we take a lot, we take a lot, but then we blow. But then we're over it. We never hold a grudge. We never stay mad at anybody. But sometimes we look like we, because we're so strong and tough, that we can handle a lot. But in all reality, we are extremely sensitive, very sensitive. So this is telling you that you can be, and she, I said, you're fierce. She goes, can you tell I'm mad today? And she, she did a picture of, she sent me a picture of herself. She's a pole dancer and she's 60, 58. It's ridiculous. Her body is like amazing. Oh my God. She puts 20 year olds to shame. And I said, you look fierce, but I know better. <laughs> So it's telling you right now, and it's a message, I chose this, right? It's about balancing your, your male and your female. So knowing when to be strong, but knowing also when to be delicate and, and ladylike. And, and, and with, for a man, knowing that you're allowed to have, <laughs> I got my money, let's drink it up, mazel tov. It's, it's balancing your, your gentle side with your, your stronger side. You've got to have a balance. It can't be all one or the other. So it's time to accomplish tasks early and not wait until the last minute. Are you clinging to an old idea, perception, or are you clinging to certain people too tightly? Starling will teach much about sensitivity to others and working as a unit, either in this world or another, and will install a sense of protection, instill a sense of protection and hope. So Starling kept coming up again and again and again. So compromise is way better than fighting, right? Nobody wants to fight. I don't want to fight. Can't we just agree to disagree if there's an issue, right? It's best that everybody gets along. If you don't have that, if you've got somebody that's making everything difficult, then there are boundaries. Uh, what came up yesterday was, it is very easy to forgive somebody for something and never speak to them again. If that's the way it has to be in order for you to be at, at peace. If somebody is not willing to be in a, in a place of, of respecting your boundaries or your needs, my client, her mother, wants to freaking control her all the time and she tries to guilt her. And I said, she can't guilt you. The only, and she says, she won't stop. She, and I said, well, then she's going to have to realize that when she does that, she's not going to see you, right? The boundaries are coming up, not because somebody else is being mad, but because she's not respecting boundaries and she's crossing boundaries. So Starling, I am Starling, the relinquishing of the ego. I am the binding of society. I am the way the entire world affects you and the way that you affect the entire world. I am unity. I am wholeness. You have reached a time when your work must be shared. Stop hoarding your gifts. I like this. You are gifted. You weren't given gifts to keep them up on a shelf. You were given them because you have a path and you have a purpose and you need to work with the presence that you've been given, right? Stop hiding your wisdom. What you learn is only as good as how you use it to teach others. I am tradition. I am your ability to bring others together in meaningful ways. It's time to express. It's time to blend yourself into the bigger picture. Being group-minded doesn't mean giving up personal power, but rather allowing the power to shine brighter. Like, like my lights, right? The lights that I have all around my entire studio. We're all just one light in the chain. And the one that goes all around, I don't know if you guys can see it up high, but I've got the lights, right? We're just one light. We don't wanna be a leader the leader and everybody else our follower or our disciple we want to be a group right we want to work together because that's that's what spirit wants being group minded doesn't mean giving up personal power but allowing rather allowing the power to shine brighter you are a gathering of like minds you are the expansion of ideas you are the catalyst you are starling now you may be a catalyst right now i will tell you i like my solitude I do. I posted something today. Now this might, because this might be something that you might think. Where is it? Let me go back to Facebook. 
This is something that you might feel because I definitely feel it. I said I'm tired of being an island, right? Spirit has always kept me as a satellite and I don't want to be alone all the time. But, but I don't want to be with people all the time either. I said, I've, the, basically, the sixth love language is distance. If you, really, if you read this, uh, it's amazing. And it talks about how it's very important to have interpersonal uh, distance in relationships. It's unhealthy to be in somebody's pocket. So it talks about, you know, if, if, if I need to go to Sedona for something and, and my husband couldn't go because he's got it, then I need to go. I need to go because that's something that I need to do. Or if you have a, why do men have man caves? Women need to have their own little I would have my little garden, right? Or I would have my tiny trailer or whatever. They do it not because they don't love you. They go in there because they need to breathe, right? They need to have space. My twin would disappear all the time. Seagull came out again, as I, so it's freedom as well. Freedom, this is what it talks about. It's why they're showing me this. And I would say, where have you been? He would just disappear. See, the problem is he wouldn't say anything. He'd just take off for three weeks. And I never knew where he was. So this message, I have so come to understand and enjoy my time alone. I think I actually always have, but I didn't realize that's what I was doing when I would disappear for a few hours and turn my phone off. Now there's a difference when somebody disappears for days, weeks, months, or even years. Come on, let's get real. If you need that much time, don't show up at all. And it's not difficult to send a text to check in as was stated, but yes, if you can't allow someone the time to breathe, to think, to just be quietly doing your own thing, you are codependent and need to examine why you can't be alone for five minutes. That's, what, that's what's so wonderful about gardening. I can get the same satisfaction from cleaning my house or washing my car. I don't speak to anyone and I don't want to. I get my best mind working done during those times. And gardening, it's piddling around in my pat, or, or piddling around in my, in my patio, vacuuming up the dead leaves and twigs, rearranging things, getting my hands in the soil, looking up at the view and enjoying that and the birds that I see is all the communication I want while I'm out there. I've grown accustomed to my time alone and I treasure it. I love to see my neighbors next door gardening. They are 15 feet from each other working for hours and they are both quietly doing their thing. They don't need to talk, but they enjoy the presence of each other's energy. They're in their late 80s and have clearly lived together so happily because they get it. They still have parties with their family who bring the grandkids and great grandkids and their dog over. They've got a boat and they enjoy it. They live together in silence as well as companionship. They are very balanced. I like that. That's balance. That's what this is talking about, right? So I'm saying spirit's telling us it's time to come out and be a part of a group, but it's a balance, right? It, 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 I, I would need, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be in like a communal house with everybody in there. I, I need my privacy. I, I, I would need, I would go crazy, right? So you need to have privacy. You know, we want to live on the same property. Okay, your property is, your house is over there and ours is over here. Those Canadian geese, they all live somewhere in this lake, but the parents live here and the kids, they fly off. They go somewhere else. You know, it's parents, you got to freaking let go and let somebody, but sometimes it's the opposite, right? You can't leave your family. Starving for truth. Closer to where I started. Chasing after you. I love this song too. I'm falling even more in love with you. Letting go of all I've held on to. I'm standing here until you make me move. <laughs> it was a mistake. Forgive yourself. It was a lesson. Forgetting all I'm lacking. Com completely incomplete. I'll take your invitation. You'll take all of me. Falling even more in love with you. Letting go of all I held on to. Isn't that such a great feeling? My whole body's covered in chills right now. Letting it go. Somebody's been beating themselves up. It was a mistake. It was a learning lesson. Get over it. Let it go. Right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. They're going crazy watching you. <laughs> then why, why just watch, right? I said I want my hands on. You will receive a call or a text. <laughs> and the number seven. Seven. Seven is about balance. Isn't it? Let me see. I, I wanted to make sure. I wasn't sure if it was seven or six. I think it's seven. I'm going to see. Hold on. Nothing's going to make me change my mind. Is seven a number 
of balance. Severn is, an, is, a, is a number of completion. On the seventh day, God rested, right? It's time for a rest. Time for a vacation. Seven is a balance, a number of balance. Ah. No, it's not. Yes, it is. When an issue arises, you tend to retreat into a safe haven within yourself and hope you will not have to deal with it. This is the number seven. Yet the clarity and analytical abilities of your mind are more than sufficient to provide you with insight into your problem and a clear path to its solution. You have to work at confronting yourself and the issues you face unemotionally and calmly. You can be engulfed in the emotional aspects of the issue, which clouds your mind and prevents you from using your clarity to find a solution. Get past the emotion and you will find an answer. Wow, how perfect was that? <laughs> Okay, now, that was, I'm letting go of all, I love this song, I don't know what I'm diving into, I'm hanging with a moment, hanging in a moment with you, okay, it's over there, sad, okay, we don't want to be sad, we're releasing the sad, right, okay, so we did all of that, and now we go to our last one, which was, we did the Peaceful Buddha, we did the Fox, we did, oh, water element, emotion. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Okay. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I actually have to stand. My, uh, my leg is driving me crazy. My, my leg is cramping because I sit too long here. Hi, Willow. Hi. Okay. Um, I was talking to, I don't know where I was. I was talking to a woman. She was standing in front of me and she was rocking like, and I, oh, I was at the beauty supply. And uh, I asked her for something. So she was looking at something up on her phone. And as soon as she stood up, she started doing this. And I said, you're self-soothing. And she goes, what? And I said, I do that too. When I get up, I automatically start to rock. But you know what you're actually doing? And she goes, no. And I said, you're engaging your left and your right side of your brain. You're also moving your sacral chakra, which is your seat of sexual energy and creativity. So you're tapping in better that way. Right? You're sending out love and you're getting creative. But I like the fact that I said, you're balancing. That's what you're doing. You're balancing your left and your right side of your brain. And that's what the message said a second ago, right? You have to find the balance between the emotional and the intellectual. Correct for neutrality on all levels. And I said, plus I'm a mom and you probably are too. And she goes, yeah, you know, you have a baby, you automatically start to rock. Correct for neutrality. But you think about autistic children, they rock. It's, it's soothing. It is calming. That's why dancing is so, is so awesome, right? Okay. For those who... Hi, honey. Why don't you come over here and show everybody how pretty you are? Come on. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Come on, Willow. Um. <laughs> Come here, Ticken. Come here. I wonder if I could catch her. I want you guys to see her. She hates being held. Hi. Everybody wants to see how beautiful you are. Oh, are you hungry? Okay, let me just show everybody how pretty you are then. Well, yeah, nobody gets to see Willow. This is one of my senior rescues. You see? Say hi, Willow. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. What does it look like up here? You're never up here. Look at that. You can see out the window. She's so stiff. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Why don't you hang out around here? Okay. Courage. Courage. Ooh. Check out this crazy woman that's chasing after him. Wow. She's literally got her hands and like claws. He's like looking to see what's there. Hmm, so a message I'm getting. So you have to have courage. Are you imagining this or has this happened to you? She looks like a freak. I mean, seriously, look at her. What are you afraid of? So whatever, I don't know why she's looking like that, why they're showing that. So redhead is, is like fire, 
passion, anger. But she's she literally looks like she's freaking crazy. She's reaching out. Her hands are like claws. It's like she's coming up out of the grave. So I guess it's, I don't know. I don't know why they're showing that. But they're talking about needing courage. And, and to go forward despite, maybe somebody is. Maybe you got some freaking stalker after you. I do. I've got more than one, right? <laughs> so they're telling you that there's something that you need to be brave. And you need to show courage in. Go, go forward in spite of whatever it is that's challenging you. Whatever it is that's holding you back. They're asking for you to have courage at this part. It, it could be, um, you know, they say you're afraid to use your power. And I thought, why would anybody be afraid to use their power? Because... To whom much is given, much is expected, right? So once I do that, then that's expected of me. Or maybe I don't want to leave my safe environment. I'm afraid of success because why? What will happen if you get successful? Will it change you? Will it, will, will it change someone else? Will it change the way people treat me? Or I don't know, the way that I look at life? Spirit's saying right now that you're, maybe you're, for, you're afraid of failing. You're afraid of rejection. Maybe we got that, that that person was, you know, I want to talk to you, but, but I'm not. I'm talking to you as other people. I mean, they already know it's you. So why don't you just freaking say your name? If you did, you would find the conversation would change really quickly because what's annoying is that you're not talking as yourself. That's what the problem is. If you would say it was you, then we could get moving on it, right? Don't pretend to be somebody else. That pisses me off. So if you're afraid of, 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 of failing something, I'm not going to get the job, or if I try to do it, it's not going to work out, or if I, if I quit my job and I, and I start this and I try to do this on my own, what if it fails? Spirit's telling you to have courage for a reason. They're not seeing failure, right? They're telling you right now, they want you to be bold. They want you to move forward no matter what the outcome, and they're telling you to do this because this is something you need to do. Give it your all. Have you been telling, <laughs> this is me, have you been telling yourself that you want an adventure? Yes, right? So that's what they're saying. Are you, are you ready for a new adventure? Are you, maybe it's going to be challenging. You got to move out of here and move into something different. What's stopping you? They're basically saying that you are stopping you. You're, you, I said, I need somebody to help me get this trailer done. And I manifested that guy just like that. And then he says to me, how much do you want to pay? He goes, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you. And you tell me how much you, you know, you're able to pay and we'll work around it. And I'm like, who does things like that? But I asked the universe for that, right? So take it take it and so I can get it done and I told him I said I want to be able to take this little trailer and travel there's a lot of soul family that that I need to meet that I need to see and I want to be able to go on my quests and and, and not be crammed in my vehicle right um so maybe that's that and the and the idea of doing that is is, is what am I going to do with my cats I don't know I got to figure it out I mean what's stopping you from moving forward right now spirit says that whatever it is that you're investing in you're investing in something that's dysfunctional you're investing in being dysfunctional, the way you're thinking, the way that you are um, imagining things. Maybe that girl isn't even there, right? There's people that are after me, are there? I mean, I don't know. They're telling you right now that there's challenges, but in the challenge, there's a blessing in it, and they want you to go for it. There's going to be different, different difficult difficulties that you come up against. There's going to be challenges that you come up against, but Spirit wants you to do it anyway. Whatever this is, you're being asked to stand by what it is that you that you what you want to do what it is that matters to you you're being asked to embrace your courage and move forward you're very equipped look at this right they're also telling you be who you are say who you are don't be, be talking as somebody else right say who you are stand for who you are and what you believe in no matter what somebody else might think of it. They might think that, you know, I'm, like I said, I didn't want to tell you what I was because it's my shirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally crooked. I like things balanced, right? Look at that. There. That's annoying. Um, I said, well, I didn't want to tell you what I did because I didn't want to freak you out. Well, I just wanted him to sell me that and I wanted him to do, do the job. And I thought, well, that's stupid because I'm saying all the time, don't be afraid of what you, uh, you know, I mean, don't. You are who you are. Don't hide it. And he says, I already know who you are. I went to page and I checked it out. <laughs> that's pretty cool what you do, right? So that's another message that we got recently is that if you tell people what you do, you might find out that there's a lot more people that do that too <laughs> or that are interested. You're not supposed to hide your gifts. So here's a message for me. And I generally don't do that and say that. So I must have done that for a reason because it needed to be addressed, I guess, right? So in order to be um, successful is that you need to prepare 
for the fact that there are going to be challenges ahead. You're going to have difficulties. It's not going to be simple. So if it was that guy and, and wanting to talk to this person and, well, once we talk, everything is going to be great. No, right? There's issues that need to be dealt with, but, but you have to have courage in order to do it. You're going to have challenges. Life isn't always easy, right? It often isn't. There's challenges, but it's worth it. It's worth it, whatever you put into it. So let me see what this is. Hi, baby girl. You want chicken? Chicken? Willow? I wish you'd go out. Sammy's, uh, 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 Sammy and Liger are both outside and have, in the sun. They love it. My, um, my little, this little thing, it hangs down, so it makes me look like I'm a dwarf. Okay. Woo, that was clear, okay. If anybody would like help with dream analysis, private reading to look deeper into your personal message, um, long distance Reiki healing, I'm a master, uh, or anything else that I can help you with, ceremonial sage wands or my Reiki charge crystal diffuser bracelets. It's one of my bracelets. This one isn't, no, this one isn't a diffuser bracelet, but this is one of my crystal bracelets. I love this one. Okay, website, www.theangelswhisper.com. My email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. Robin talks about new beginnings. Yeah, the first thing I think about is a new beginning. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. Perfect song. We can live in a world that we design. A million dreams, you heard this? Every night, I lie in bed the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think about the, what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all I can take. It's a million dreams of the world that we are gonna make. I love that, I love that, it makes me emotional. We are. We create our world, right? We're gonna make it beautiful. The house that we can build, every room inside it filled with things from far away. Special things I could find. Each one there to make you smile on a rainy day. Special things that I compiled, each one there to make you smile. They can say, it sounds crazy. They can say we've lost our minds. But I don't care if they call me crazy. Run away to a world that we design, yeah. I am Robin, the song of renewal. I am recurrence and eternity. I am the promise that life will keep spinning. I am ancient, bringing forth the spring from the deep chill of winter. You were expecting me. As I reassure you that the ice is thawing, your own winter must have its spring. It's time to align and know which season you're in. It's time to rejuvenate, time to awaken. The hibernation of your talents and dreams has no place in my medicine. I am cleansing like the rain. I am flowing forward like the river. I am your wake-up call at sunrise. Keep your world going no matter how thick the ice is formed. Something needs tending. You are the caretaker of your own soul. You are your own change. Renew yourself and rejoice. You are new beginnings. You are invig invigorating. You are upward growth. You are Robin. This is perfect. Hi, Mama's chicken. Hi. Yeah? What? What do you want me to give you? She just wants attention. I do too, right? The greatest need is to have someone to tell. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the rainbow plant, there are still times to fix things. Yeah, there's still time. Still time to fix things, you pretty little girl. I still hear your laugh and feel your kiss. Clearly somebody's missing somebody, right? Stop acting so cool, you're a fool. <laughs> what is that song? Why do you have to go and make things so complicated? Right? 
Dress up and uh, fancy and act different when you're around your other friends. I, I like you freaking wearing jeans and a t-shirt. I like the way you are, right? I don't, I don't like the way that you pretend to be. That isn't even who you are to me. Stop driving so fast, I want you alive. Now that is not for me, because I do not drive fast. I've been very conscious of this. So somebody, stop driving so fast, I want you alive. As your shadow crosses mine, these songs are great. Hold on, baby, I'm almost done. Hold on, baby. Yes, they will call or text you. Wow, that's like completely <laughs> in a different area, but we got it again. I expect a call or a text. When you're mad, go for a walk. Walk, get away, relax. We fell in love in a hopeless place. It's time to quit that job. That's it, guys. Oh, no, this one was in my hand, stuck to my finger. Prepare yourself for a pleasant surprise. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna upload this to you guys. Um, she's waiting patiently. I love you. Bye.